they'll they get quite large. The green variety, quite large. We don't live. But in, they're harmless. We do not live in Bolivia. No, I'm talking about the green Chinese mantis, which are over here in the United States. Never saw one. The giant mantis, the green ones. Yeah, they're big. They're real big. Sometimes they turn brown. But they're very beneficial. Yeah, they 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 do like the um, chameleons. Well, anoli, anolis do that. Uh, once they get inside, they look for a safe spot. They could be between the walls. This is a long reading. Under a cushion. In a pile of papers. They're not doing anything but resting. Oh, yeah, let's not disturb the stink bugs when they're taking a nap. But when they wake up and want to go back outside, then they'll be a nuisance. The insects known as brown marmorated stink bug or marmalade? Haleomorpha howlies. The levity bells. Are approximately 17 milliliters. Millimeters? Milliliters? Millimeters. <laughs> Millimeters. <laughs> Jesus, that would be a thousand liters. Wow, that's, that's how a big lot of look liquid. Named after Aunt Millie? About two thirds of an inch. Now they're very small. And brown with off white and reddish spots. Originally from Asia. They surfaced in North America in the late 1990s. Maybe there were stowaways on a cargo ship. The bugs rapidly spread across the country and have caused 21 billion dollars in crop losses. Oh. They are pests. Since they, they're arrived. Oh, they eat crops. Oh. I didn't this know This year, stinky bugs have been found in 40 states. That's it. They're here. But only six mid-Atlantic states, including New Jersey, have reported severe agricultural and nuisance problems. I'm sure we'll be fine. If, if we're stronger than the storm, we'll be stronger than the stink bug. <laughs> During the summer months, <laughs> they tend to feed on apples, peaches, and corn in New Jersey. I like apples, peaches, and corn. They have good taste. Most of the damage this year happened in South Jersey. Uh, boy. North Jersey farmers did not report any major problems with stinky bugs. During the 2013 growing season, we're starting to get a lot of phone calls from homeowners now. Oh, the poor, the poor little, uh, oh, these are the, the people that would snitch on you and call City Hall or the cops at the drop of a hat. What the hell, what kind of problem will stink bugs cause for the average homeowner? He's not a farmer. Give me a break. It's too early to say whether this will be a problem. What jerks we have in this state. But the entomologists tell us to expect it. Rutgers was recently awarded a $2.7 million grant from the USDA yeah. to develop ways to manage the stink bug population. Oh, oh, but and protect farms. Oh, oh, so uh, they have the money to spend on stink bugs, but they don't have the money for food stamps for poor children. Food stamps are making people lazy. You don't. They don't really give that much unless you have a bunch of kids. You don't really get that much money for food, you know. Lazy. Oh yeah, like there's so many jobs out there. Well, if they are Christians, these people who make up the law, they're supposed to give uh, the poor to both of their coats, invite them to the feast, and if you got meat, give that too. I, you know, I'm sh I'm just wondering what's on the menu for the uh, Republican Congress when they have their three square meals a day. Soil and green. I bet they eat, huh? Soil and green. 
That's not what I heard. I heard that uh, eat humans. I heard that the um, the White House um, cafeteria and the Monsanto's cafeteria serve organic food. That's what I heard. I don't know about soil and green. Not for con not for the Congress. They're eating high. They're living high on the hog. They're eating quite well. They're figuring out like a Chris way. Like Chris Christie's eating quite quite well. They're figuring out a way to get rid of us. And well, this is one of the ways to make us food. Well, Jesse Ventura... Uh, uh, He's got a new book, by the way, and he will be at Barnes & Noble. Around here? You if know I'm when? If I'm not mistaken, it's the 5th. Uh, don't quote me. Today? It's either today or the 8th. I'm not sure. The eighth, today could be the death match between Nigel Short and Judith Polgar. Who the hell are they? Great chess players! What do you mean, who the hell are uh, they? I want to see Jesse Ventura. That, I, I, or it's Jesse Ventura Day. One or the other. I wonder what Barnes & Noble he's going to be at. Right here, the biggie guy. In Clifton? Or, no. Or the Paramus? Paramus. Shit, really? The fifth? Paramus. I didn't say the fifth. It could be some day other day. Some guy, some other guy was just at the... Uh, Barnes and Noble. It's a book signing. Yeah, he was signing books too. Some, uh, I think it was the right winger. I mean, you oh, got Bill O'Reilly has a new book out there, though. Killing yeah. Jesus. What the hell does Bill O'Reilly know about killing Jesus? What does he know about Jesus or the Bible, period? What does he know about anything? He's a right winger. They don't know about the God of the Bible. Well, he wrote a book about it, and it's already sold 350,000 copies. Oh, God. So it's on the bestseller uh, list. The whole, world New York is, Times. the whole world is deceived, like it says in the Bible, all right? Yeah. Revelation 12, 9. Americans are the laughing stock of the world. Only in America would people believe such unproven, idealistic, uh, stupid insanity. Ideological. Uh, Ideological crap, crap, unproven. They, 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 they profess nothing that's in the Bible. Exactly. And now, and they write. But they books get away with it. And people buy them. But they get away with all it. the rednecks, all the uh, inbred red state people that vote Republican. I bet they bought O'Reilly's book. Well, a lot of the right wing books are bought up by right wing big people, elites, corporations, etc., to get them onto the bestseller list. How can O'Reilly... that they are selling. Books. But how can O'Reilly profess to know anything about God if, if, the, if the actions of Republicans are so ungodly? Ah, and actions speak louder than words, don't they? Yeah. Ah. That's a lot of proof in the pudding. Yeah. I guess people don't look at the pudding. And their pudding is sour, believe me. Uh, and, mold, and moldy. Uh, speaking about mold, mold spores are high right about That's now. That's why I sneezed before. I took an Allegra, though. Ragweed is down. The trees are down. But the mold is high. And the other one is absent, but uh, about mold spores are high. Yeah. And then in the winter, it'll be dust mites, and then it'll be something else, and. It's all based on your immune system. Uh, of course, I was not, um, I think I was, well, I think I was formula fed. I don't think I was breastfed, so I don't know how much colostrum I got as a baby, but it's very important to the immune system of a human being that they get the full amount of colostrum when they're born to develop their immune system. So I have to take some extra. Some people want some of that colostrum when they're adults. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It's like a, a, a fetish I've seen. Yes. I've seen. Yes, um, it's very in today. Yeah, yeah, milking. milking. Adult breastfeeding. Yeah. <laughs> or just the sight of the milk <laughs> squirting him. Yeah. And it can, yeah, it can go far, too. Psst, you know? Nice big stream across the room. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, um, uh, is it... Um, is it the stimulation of the nipple, or do you have to have a, a child Full like breast. like an animal, like a goat, a mammal, to, a to goat? Lactate? To, to lactate. Well, you should have a child. 
in other words like the goat and those pro those hormones in there yeah like like with female goats that are on a farm that are milked they have a kid a goat baby goat and then they start lactating and then as long as they're stimulated they continue to provide milk for the rest of the, of the female life you know I got a uh, I got a vaccination program that they should do on Republicans they should vaccinate them with oxytocin which is the hormone which allows mommies to love their children and men to love women in other words the can't we all get along hormone. what about a hormone to stimulate brain cells because they're, they're in desperate need of that yeah but it ain't it's not a brain cell problem in other words it's a character it's a spiritual and a character flaw yeah they have the ability to think and reason and they have the intelligence they just Don't. are just inherently just wicked they're just downright mean-spirited negative and wicked people as they're fixated fixated hmm? fixated they're fixated as Wright would say their characters are their character is in their muscles they're armored they are armored in their conservative direction. That's like what my grandmother used to say, uh, uh, destaruda in Italian, like a, th a thick-headed, cinder block head. Thick-headed, you can't get through to somebody, they're too stubborn, they won't, they won't um, yeah. see anybody else's opinion. I mean, hear it, rather. Mm -hmm. yeah, she used to say, uh, destaruda. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're doing good on time, so. For there! First, excuse me. The stink bugs are, the bugs are stink over, bugs right? Bugs are gone. First, there was a rational letter concerning the benefits that will apply to women under Obamacare. Okay. Then there was another letter that speaks of an Obamacare that exists only in the minds of those who believe the rantings of the Tea Party Republicans. Is it true that uh, the government will be allowed to tap your bank account if you miss a, an Obamacare payment? Like that they'll inf infiltrate your bank account? So I don't think somebody's so. Somebody's spreading information. Of course like they that. are. The, the right wing has got all kinds of shit out there. But they, but the only shit they have are lies, I noticed. Well, when you don't have... They, they get away with it in certain areas because there's nothing to counter that. We don't know what's going to happen under Obamacare because it ain't fully implemented yet. So you're getting a lot of teabaggers assuming things. Yeah. But uh, the assumptions that they make, you know, where the hell do they come from? It's like the, the right-wingers, they believe that Obamacare is something like Medicare, a government program to give us insurance. But it's not. It's a government program that says everyone should be insured through private insurance and, companies. And no discrimination against pre-existing conditions. Conditions. Etc. But it's not a government program that grants us insurance. It's privatized. Well, it's more than that. It's privatized. It's privatized. And that's one of the problems with it. They, they, of course, they don't think that that's right. No, Republicans like the privatized health insurance where the, the, uh, the uh, insurance companies are, are deregulated and they're, and they're deregulated. Alive. I mean, are you out of your mind? No, they, they like the insurance companies that, that deny people, uh, yeah, deregulated. But first, you have that, first, you have to be regulated. Be, be, to become deregulated. So they're not, they haven't They've been regulated. They've been regulated. Yeah, they want, to, they want the insurance company to pretty much grab the premiums and have the right to deny you. Exactly. For any stupid reason, you know, and, uh, oh, pre-existing? No, we're not going to pay for, oh, you need cancer treatment? Uh, I think it's pre-existing. No, we're not going to, we're not going to pay for it. Sorry. So these are the, these are the, this is the health care Republicans would like. Yeah. Anything to do with profit over people and over the planet. Yeah. The Republicans are for. 
who don't know anything at all about the legislation. What is this single-payer socialized medicine about which the letter writer speaks? Does she really think that both houses of Congress, the President, and no less than the Supreme Court, our ultimate ju judicial authority, has permitted a tyrannical abuse of government control tyrannical. that will make us slaves to the state? Tyrannical. It's private. What is single payer about a plan that offers private insurance from dozens of firms all over the country and that offers premiums for half of what I paid for individual insurance before our tyrannical government offered me Medicare. It's amazing how they demonize the word social, socialist, social. Hey, I think a program, even though Obamacare is not, is not what I'm talking about now, I, I think a program where everybody it, it has the right, the human right to good health insurance and the rich pay for it. I think that's a wonderful program. And they're freaking out about Obamacare. Exactly. Give the program a chance. Let's see how it plays out. And by all means, make adjustments as it becomes necessary. Yeah, you're not going to sedate them with that. They're not going to be happy with of that. Of course not. Just tell them, shut your damn mouth. We have it. We deserve it. Just shut up. That's the, the problem way. with them is the Tea Party. Nobody's tough enough to, 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 to go up against them. But they don't have the balls. The what? They do not. They did not read the book on Civics 101. They don't know how the government operates. Obamacare is a law. It was put into law by the two houses of Congress, signed into law by Mr. Obama, mm -hmm. and then judged by five members of the Supreme Court as being constitutional. What the Tea Party wants now is to repeal that law. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't do that. If you want to repeal or you amend a law, you go through what they call regular order and you do it that way. You do not hold the government hostage and say, we want it repealed. So they don't know how to govern. They are there, elected by <clears throat> their stupid Tea Party <clears throat> ignorance to just do, do nothing and obstruct, but not to govern because they don't know how. They never read Civics 101. Apparently not. Our current lottery system of health care is the one that protects the privileged class about which the writer speaks. Hmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Just keep an eye on the clock, that's all. I propose that the insanity of this latest government standoff lie upon the shoulders of congressional Republicans. It's always their fault. Ah, but they have a great campaign, propaganda campaign with Fox News, that it's the Democrats. And Obama. Yeah, well, Fox the shutdown News. is their fault. Fox News is like, uh, okay. like real hot air, full of hot air. Uh, um, but how would you know that? If you Unless were, you contrasted it with something else. Or, or, but if you're an idiot that just watches Fox, exactly. the propaganda machine will sink into your brain. Even the, you know, even uh, even some die-hard progressive liberals don't completely get it. I, I had somebody who uh, who runs a um, a page uh, on Facebook, a, a liberal page. And uh, she she thought that my um, my description of Ann Coulter was uh, no, it wasn't her. I'm sorry. It was a man who is a a true he claims to be a true liberal, and uh, he works for a local uh, cable station. 
and he produces shows. He said, he said that my description of Ann Coulter uh, looking like the, uh, the the Gorgon Medusa was a very harsh and cruel, but funny and accurate. Why can, why don't you just say, yeah, she is a Gorgon. She is she is Medusa personified. She's she's a witch. It's like it's like these liberals they don't want to be they're afraid of being labeled as crude and mean they want to be they, they want to be like you cannot negotiate with terrorists criminals or republicans sometimes the uh, those people want to s stay above the fray they want to be diplomatic but you can't yeah. be diplomatic with these individuals doesn't you work. can't be diplomatic if you're both speaking a different language. And that's what they're doing. It's not It's not going to win debates, being diplomatic with them. No. Just like if Barbara Buono is diplomatic with Christie, she can kiss her campaign goodbye. You got, you got to meet an ogre with old-fashioned force and expose them and relentlessly relentlessly expose everything they've done that's wrong. And if they interrupt you, you raise your volume of your voice. You raise your volume. They try to drown you out. You shout louder than them. I propose yeah. that the insanity of the... I, I just read that, didn't I? It sounds like Susan Powder. Remember that woman? That... that other bullshit infomercial girl with the with the, the the buzz platinum blonde hair. She used to say, "Stop the insanity." Not only has the stubbornness of this political group led to the delay of a budget resolution, it has brought our nation into a state of shutdown for the first time in nearly twenty years. It is time of a party split between the both houses of Congress. It is neither effective nor productive to compare the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act to Nazi Germany or to read Dr. Seuss picture books in a 21-hour non-filibuster. That's what they would like to do their entire political career is read Dr. Seuss Republicans. Whether they understand it or not is another story. Because I don't believe that Rand Paul understands Dr. Seuss, but he does understand Ayn Rand. Oh yeah, I don't understand Dr. Seuss. What the hell is green eggs and ham? What is green eggs? Well, you know, if, Rancid you, don't, eggs? if you don't hard boil an egg properly, the sulfur remains, you get green yolk. Maybe that's what he's referring to, green eggs. Yeah. Was he wasn't yoking around about that either? No. But eggs and ham, eggs and sausage. I like eggs. This is breakfast eggs, for many people. Eggs, eggs and bacon, uh, eggs and scrapple, eggs. And, yeah, I'll take it. You know, I'm meticulous about my food, though. It's got to be done right. Republicans are certainly welcome to vie for what they believe in. However, they need to find a balance of when to hold and when to fold to accomplish anything in Congress. I believe that was Kenny Rogers. Yeah. Said that? No when to, no to hold them. No when to fold them. No yeah. when to fold them. No when to walk away. Walk away. <laughs> no when to run. <laughs> count your uh, money. Don't count your money when it's sitting, sitting on the at table. The table. Many times compromise is the only solution to a problem. It is not until this party takes heed of a reference used by one of its great historical leaders that we will see a change in the efficacy of Congress. A house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe that was Abraham Lincoln. And that was before Republicans were what they are.
today. Even Dwight D. Eisenhower was before what Republicans are today. He was pretty good. He was a good egg. Because he, where, even he was though a he moderate. had a head like egghead, but he, he was a moderate. He's a moderate, yeah. yeah. I think he was more. I think he might have been a, a wee bit more to the left than Ru Rudy Giuliani, who called themselves a moderate. Rudy Giuliani, he's over there doing commercials for Loda. Oh yeah, Loda he's does. He's a right winger. The uh, the the campaign for uh, mayor of New York City was it Joe Loda? Joe Loda doesn't like Bill de Blasio's uh, concept of taxing the rich. Oh, of course not. Are we going to hurt business? Hurt business? Hurt business? Have you seen the, the, the profit projections of, of, of U.S. corporations? Were businesses hurting in the 40s, 50s, 60s, and half of the 70s because their taxes were too high? No. No. But according to Republicans like Joe Loda and maybe Michael Bloomberg, uh, it's okay for corporations and the rich not to pay taxes at all. Correct. But then who has to pick them up? The middle class. And the poor. Thanks to Reagan. Yeah, right. So With gee, consumption. How fair is that? And and when the rich say, let's get rid of the IRS and just have a consumption tax, well. Wonder why they do that. Because then the rich will never pay taxes. Because <laughs> they're not the they're not the consumers. Yeah, how many refrigerators do they buy? They just they get an occasional yacht or a, or a private jet or you know limo or a, a Lamborghini or whatever Ferrari, but the point is they're not the consumers. The little guy is so you know it's it's an obsession with these people, greed, money. It's like you know there was a, a Native American banner which said after the the air is has been completely polluted and the our waterways and, 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 uh, and the last fish has died and blah 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 you, you will you will learn that you cannot eat your money the, the, the yeah, bottom line that yet. cannot eat your money but the rich have their underground uh, condominiums <laughs> in the abandoned missile silos and they uh, they got their uh, Everybody is trying to stockpile for the uh, for the for the worse, and uh, li living in bunkers. And it, let me tell you something: eventually, you're going to run out of food and, and clean drinking water, and you have to come to the surface. So. And then the surface is contaminated for millions and millions of years. So the radiation is still going to get you, elitist conservatives. Their Elitist radiation pigs. will get you. Hmm? Elitist pigs, I call them. Pigs, because they're always at the trough. Well, uh, in Proverbs, it says something to the effect that a, uh, a, a beautiful woman without modesty is like a fine gold ring in a pig's snout. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. in Proverbs. So it's like, uh, you know, having the wrong attitude if you're rich or rich and famous and having the wrong way of thinking doesn't make you look so wonderful according to the Bible. Of he who has given much, much is requested. You have to put back and you have to tithe back to, to whom that has blessed you. You have to give back you know, well, as I said before, your two coats, invite them to the feast. Yeah. And well, if you got meat, bring out the meat. Or like if uh, if you're a, a filthy rich NBA basketball player and you came from a poor poor inner city neighborhood and you don't give back to the to where you came from, you might just give give yourself a little karma, negative karma. I would say so uh, before we start. Yeah, something. because then you got to tell, you know, uh, all right, oh, I'll, definitely. It is now time for the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's Gastronomic Delight, known as lunch, and we will be back with William H. Morrow, the third.